club's huge to me and, and as well to my family. And a lot of boys actually that are in the first team at the moment is huge to them too. Everything around the club, the supporters, just the people around it, the coaches, the players, it's just a great, great group to be around. Um, down at the club it's very like it's like another family to me. Second home really. And it looks after me like family. I've had a knee reconstruction last year and always getting people calling me for the club, seeing how I am, come to training, so it's just like very like emotional as well for me because I've been there and they're helping me get through it, so it means like the world to me. Honestly, it's a, it's, it's a very historic club. It's been around for 50 odd years. It's, um, you know, the fans are great, the, the club's great, the committee, everything. We've got a, a great junior set up and uh, some fantastic volunteers that have been there from, uh, from day one and uh, very supportive to the boys and uh, bend over backwards for us. I enjoy it so much and you get all the, the coaching, all the help from everyone up above as well. So all the first team players will help you as well. So it's just a special culture to be a part of. In the club they have a lot of events that uh, the senior boys go out and help with the juniors, presentation days, family days, so from top to bottom it's a good club with a good culture, good family atmosphere. The culture is really good, um, positive vibes everywhere, so makes me want to play there every time. I started my junior days at Pacala and um, from day one they've always treated me very loyal, um, you know, they're a very uh, family orientated club. But, um, Jack Smith, uh, as an example, he's been there for uh, a very long time and it just goes to show that a lot of the people there love being there and like, and like hanging around. You have a lot of families, you have a lot of kids over there uh, who are, uh, play because their cousins play in a, in a reserve, they, they uncle played there 10 years ago, so on and so on. Well, growing up with them, I guess uh, I followed them at a young age and being able to captain them now. Um, is, a, is a privilege and with all the volunteers and um, all the people who have been here for so many years have put on so, so much hard work and me being able to lead them out every week is um, an absolute privilege and uh, it's just an honour to be able to do that.